In this example, we have to calculate this angle B. You can pause this video if you would like and try it yourself. Otherwise, you can listen to me and let's see how it goes. So, we know that to work out angles in analytical geometry for grade 11, it is really useful to be able to get the gradient. Because when you have a gradient of a line, you can work out its angle of inclination. What we can do in a question like this is, we know that B to A, we can work out that one's angle of inclination. We can just imagine that the line carries on going. And you can see that these two lines would eventually meet over there. So we could work out that angle. Because remember, angle of inclination is always relative to a horizontal line. There are other ways to do this, but I find that students prefer this method. So if we could work out the gradient of AB, then that's the gradient of this entire line. And so we could work out the angle of inclination, which would be this little angle over here. So let's do that. We'd need the gradient formula. And I'm going to do that for point A and B. So we're going to look at the gradient of AB. And so that's just going to be 6 minus 5 over 2 minus minus 1. And that's eventually going to give us a third. So now we can work out the, the, the angle over here by saying shift tan of a third. And that's going to give us 18 0.43 degrees. Now, what we do is we can extend this line over here. We can do the same concept. And I'm just going to extend the x-axis a little bit like that. And so now we can find this angle if we have the gradient. And we do have the gradient because they told us that the equation of BC is over here. Now, some students say, oh, so the gradient is 4. It's not always the number in front of x. And we know from y equals to mx plus c that this is the gradient, but that's only after the equation has been arranged in standard form. So we just need to move things around over here and then we can get the gradient. So we currently have 2y plus 4x minus 12 equals 0. I'm going to divide everything by 2 so long, then move the 2x and the 6 over so we eventually end up with this. So now we have the gradient, it's negative two. Now, if you've watched any of my other videos on angle of inclination, you would see that we mustn't put the negative on the calculator. What we do is we just say shift tan of two. And that was 63.43, so we'll call that our reference angle, 63.43. Now. That could either be this angle or it's this angle. Now clearly, an angle of 63 is the smaller one. If it was this larger one here, it would be more than 90. So that means that this little angle is 63.43 degrees. 63.43. Aha, now guys, check this out. We've got a big triangle. Can you see it? Ah, so now you guys at home are probably like, oh, I see it now. This is how we will calculate angle B due to the sum of angles in a triangle. So we can say that angle B is going to be 180 minus 18.43 minus 63.43. And the reason for that is sum angles of a triangle. And so what we'll find is that angle B is going to be equal to 98.14 degrees.